When it comes to network hardware, not all hardware devices are actually equal, and this is especially true when it comes to speed. As it relates to the performance of a network, speed is vitally important because it costs money. Network speeds have gotten faster and faster over the years, and they get faster and faster on a daily basis. And the faster devices are becoming more commonplace in today's networks. So you'll always see these faster devices being used ever more often out in the real world because the demands on those networks and the speeds and the information being passed across those networks grows by the day. Presently we measure network speeds in megabits per second or mbps and gigabits per second which is also written as g BPS with a capital G. When we say one gigabit per second, that's roughly equal to 1,000 megabits per second. In the early days of networking, speeds were around one megabit per second and 10 megabits per second. In the present day, it's more common to see speeds of 10 gigabits per second and 40 gigabits per second. Usually you see this in data centers, but it's becoming more commonplace all over entire networks, uh, even as we speak. And the newest thing on the horizon, again, this is presently at the time this course was made, the newest thing on the horizon is the 100 gigabit per second network interface card or cards and the cables that can handle those speeds that go along with those cards. For a network overall to be able to use that desired speed, all of the hardware and the cabling needs to be able to support that speed. If they cannot, the network will function at the speed of usually the slowest device on that link or on that particular section of the network. Now, this doesn't mean if you have nine computers, all with 10 gigabit per second network cards, and then you have one computer with only a 10 megabit per second network card, that all the computers are going to function at only 10 megabits per second. But you have to determine where in a link or on a portion of a network that that slowest connection speed or capability is and how that's going to affect the devices around it. Is it part of the connection that they have to use from one device to another or is it uh, going to have to be shared by other devices, that type of thing. So that's pretty much it. You can get into the more details in the next level course when we talk about network speeds, but those are the basics when it comes to network speeds and how you make those determinations, kind of how they affect your planning on a network or your growth on a network when you expand a network or you cut it back or you move it around or you change devices. All of these things have to take into account the network speeds that you're trying to accomplish on every portion of that network.